Hey there, fellow ocean enthusiasts. Ever wondered what makes those massive ships glide through the water effortlessly? Well, the magic lies beneath the waterline, in the whirling world of ship propellers. Let's dive into the fascinating mechanics of how ship propellers work. First off, what exactly is a ship propeller? Imagine it as a fan under the water, but instead of moving air, it moves water. The propeller consists of several blades that spin around a central hub. This isn't just any random spinning. It's a carefully engineered process designed to push the ship forward. Now, how does it do that? As the propeller blades rotate, they create a difference in water pressure. The forward side of each blade generates lower pressure by moving the water backwards, which then pulls the ship forward. This action is based on Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So, as the propeller pushes water backwards, the water pushes the propeller and hence the ship, forwards. But it's not all smooth sailing. One challenge that engineers face is something called propeller cavitation. This sounds fancy, but it's actually a problem where bubbles form around the propeller when it spins too fast. These bubbles can burst and cause damage to the propeller over time. To combat this, propellers are often designed with specific materials and shapes to minimize cavitation. Materials matter too. Most propellers are made from a blend of metals that can resist corrosion from seawater. Bronze, for instance, is a popular choice due to its durability and efficiency in water. Lastly, the size and the shape of the propeller also play a crucial role. Larger ships need larger propellers or even multiple propellers to distribute the force evenly and ensure a smooth voyage. The shape of the blades can vary too, each designed for specific types of ships and their operational needs. So, next time you see a ship cruising along the horizon, remember it's the unseen propeller beneath that's making all that seamless movement possible. It's a blend of physics, engineering, and material science that keeps our maritime journey smooth and efficient. Time. Did you know that the concept of the ship propeller dates back to the early 19th century? Early designs were quite different from what we see today. The first practical propeller was invented by John Ericsson, a Swedish-American engineer in 1836. His design revolutionized maritime travel. Since then, propeller technology has advanced significantly, incorporating modern materials and sophisticated engineering techniques. Modern propellers are designed to be more efficient, reducing fuel consumption and minimizing environmental impact. Regular maintenance and inspection are crucial to ensure the longevity and performance of ship propellers. Maintenance crews work diligently to inspect and repair any damage, ensuring that the propellers remain in top condition. Looking ahead, research and development continue to push the boundaries of what ship propellers can achieve. Future designs may include even more advanced materials and innovative shapes to further enhance performance and efficiency. There's also a growing focus on creating eco-friendly propellers that reduce the environmental impact of maritime travel. The development of ship propellers is a collaborative effort involving engineers, scientists, and maritime experts from around the world. Together, they work to innovate and improve, ensuring that our ships can sail smoothly and efficiently into the future. So, the next time you see a ship gliding across the water, take a moment to appreciate the incredible engineering marvel that is the ship propeller. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the world of ship propellers. Keep exploring, stay curious, and I'll see you next time. Before we wrap up, let's take a closer look at the propeller in action. Notice how it pushes the water, creating thrust that propels the ship forward. This thrust is what allows the ship to move forward, overcoming the resistance of the water. Engineers are constantly working on optimizing propeller efficiency, tweaking designs to get the best performance. Testing in water tanks helps analyze performance and make necessary adjustments before the propellers are used in real-world conditions. Another important aspect is noise reduction. Propellers can be quite noisy, so engineers use various techniques to make them quieter. Special materials and designs help in reducing the noise, making the journey more pleasant for both passengers and marine life. Environmental impact studies are also crucial. Researchers are looking into ways to make propellers more eco-friendly, reducing their impact on marine ecosystems. The future of ship propellers is exciting, with new technologies and innovations on the horizon. Advanced manufacturing techniques like 3D printing are being explored to create more efficient and durable propellers. 
smart materials and adaptive designs could revolutionize how propellers respond to different conditions, making them even more effective. It's a global effort, with researchers and engineers from around the world collaborating to push the boundaries of what's possible. The possibilities are endless, and the future of ship propellers looks brighter than ever. So, as we conclude, let's take one last look at the propeller in action, driving the ship forward with incredible power and precision. It's truly a marvel of engineering and a testament to human ingenuity. Thanks for joining me on this extended journey into the world of ship propellers. Keep exploring, stay curious, and I'll see you next time.